At ease, Major. Thanks, sir. Dr. Bellows tells me that you're an exemplary <laughs> officer. <laughs> Dr. Bellows, tell you that, General sir. Schaefer wants a chaperone for his daughter when he's away from Cocoa Beach. Oh, a chaperone, sir. You will escort Suzanne to museums, concerts, and other cultural events. It'll keep her out of trouble. Um, sir, I'm kind of tied up in the project. And moment. you will see that this person never comes near her. Who is it, sir? It's a... It calls itself Harold. The dirty, filthy, disreputable hippie. And if he ever comes near Susie again, I'll kill him. Do you get the message? Yes, sir. I get the message. <laughs> no. 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 Isn't it gassy? That's Harold's latest new poem. Oh, it is beautiful. But, but do you not think we should get him something to eat? He does not look well. Well, he punishes himself for art. I was just a square till I met Harold. He made me what I am today. No. Kitty! No. Oh, here we are, Master. Hi. Listen, I... Mage, meet your new roommate. Harold. <laughs> man, would you... Would you just... I don't want to interfere in your private life, young lady, but your father told me I had to chaperone you all over Cocoa Beach. Oh, that's groovy, Mage. We can double date you and Jeannie and Harold and me. Uh, yeah, no, not, not Harold. He's out. If, if your father even sees you with Harold, he's going to skin you alive. And me, too, for allowing it. No, I'll never give up Harold. He's my guru. You're going to have to forget your guru Master, or whatever you call him. What? Master, the general just drove up, and I think he's coming here. He's coming here? In the kitchen. Gina, you sure he's coming here? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. All right, you get in the kitchen, yes, too. Master. Harold, you <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucked. And act like a man, will you? Huh? I want you to get him out of here, will you? Quickly, get him out! Do you understand me? Huh? <laughs> good, good. In the kitchen. Yes, master. Now, don't panic. No, master. Right. Oh, you are so clever, master. Right, okay. <laughs> Yes, sir, right here, sir. I just came over to tell you that I'm leaving town tomorrow for a couple of days, and uh, while I'm gone, I'm holding you responsible for my daughter's welfare. Uh, yes, sir, I understand. And remember what I said about Harold. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, sir. You can cut off. What was that? I just skinned my knuckle, shut the door in my hand. Silly of me. Don't you worry about your daughter, sir. Uh, you can depend on me. I hope so, Major. <laughs> I, uh, uh... No. Gene. That was the most transcendental experience of my life. <laughs> oh. she, she just blinked and disappeared. <laughs> no. Oh, great guru, tell us of your wisdom. Oh, how nice. Uh, yes, that's it. Uh, you see, Jeannie's a student of Eastern mysticism, and all she had to do was concentrate and just willed him into the closet. Oh, master. I will spend the rest of my life at your feet. Not here, you know. You're going out in the back door this time. You're not going Harold out, mate. Oh, yes, I am. This is my house. Remember that. What would Daddy say if you knew your girlfriend was a guru? <laughs> Think like that, would you? Of course not, Mage. Not as long as you behave yourself. Hey, All together now! Loud! 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 Master? What? How is this? That's terrible. Come on. Huh? We're late. Oh. Huh? Let's go, Mage. We're all set. <laughs> Under my car. Oh, I think it's very artistic, Master. <laughs> Look at this mess. We're not going any place in this thing, that's for sure. Okay, I guess Harold and I'll just have to go call my father. Get in. <laughs> Come on. 